morning guys first and only full day of my 34 hour reset at the pilot Hermiston Oregon just like before yesterday I told you guys I was going for subway well as I was on my way into the restaurant I got approached by two drivers also drive for my company also doing this Walmart thing and they said they were going out to eat and asked me if I wanted to join them I said yes um, one of them was a lady in her 60s she doesn't look a day over 50 I, I was shocked when she told me she was in her 60s that's all she said uh, she said she's actually hit on by guys in their 30s and 40s usually so I guess she's like the ultimate cougar if you will I wouldn't go down that road with her personally but it, it was just she looks good for her age another guy was one of those guys that is on his well on his way to uh, giving the trucking industry a bad name he was just dumb that, that's all that I I guarantee there's rocks out there that are smarter than this guy. It, it was just unreal to hanging out with them. I would have loved to hang out with her because she's got a lot of life experience, a lot of stories. It, it would have been a good time. You throw him in there with his really random, irrelevant, and then stupid comments. Oh God, it, it was almost painful. But anyway, I survived that. It was overall a good time, basically because that lady is just that dude. I would not have had a meal with him. Uh, my patience, especially driving a truck, is pretty high. He used up every little bit I had yesterday. <laughs> By the end of our time together, I was just done with people because of him. But, um, yeah, so already uh, went on a walk. It's a new week for our Fitbit challenge. Uh, Troy won uh, last week's. Um, yeah, it's Troy, John, my dad, me and then Jade. I forget the exact step numbers, but uh, this week Angie is joining us, so that that's that's cool. Uh, my goal today, because I have nothing but time really, is to beat Troy in one day. And today will be a great day if I can beat Troy. Um, right now he's like 200 steps ahead of me. My dad is beating both of us. Uh, part of that might be, my dad hasn't worked out yet, because he always works out during his lunch break. If he rode his bike, it may have fudged the numbers a little bit but somehow my dad's ahead of both Troy and I I've already walked like three and a half miles today uh, I went on a walk I left my camera in the truck that's my bad I will be going on another walk later probably the exact same thing and I will bring you guys along for that but anyway right now my truck's a mess um, laundry laundry is my bedding those are my clothes then I got recycles here. I'm going to go just put by a trash can, say a prayer that someone less fortunate than myself finds them. My trash can is full. Take care of that. And then basically just need to settle in and a little bit. I, I got a bunch of things I need to do, like down there, that orange, that yellow envelope. That's my permits for this year. So I need to update my permit book, which is there. I need to put my fuel stickers uh, on the outside of the truck. They're in that uh, envelope down there I just showed you guys. So I got a few things to do today to keep myself occupied. I gotta clean my windows. Don't know if you can tell, but they're really dirty from playing in the snow yesterday. So part of me wants to clean them. Another part of me is almost like screw it because they're gonna end up dirty again. But I like clean mirrors, you know, because I got time. It's like ant yeah, me as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go do the most expensive load of laundry I've ever done. I think it's two. It's either two or two fifty to wash and then another 250 to dry quarters only so yeah I've never done laundry this expensive before but it's kind of it's convenient and because I did go two days without taking a shower this week I try to wash my bedding every week but it doesn't always happen usually it's every two weeks but uh, because I went two days without a shower I'm just too much of a clean freak when it comes to stuff like that so yeah at that point it may as well <laughs> there's just nothing else to do so I'm gonna shut up and uh, I'll Talk to you guys later as the day progresses. So not much has changed. I uh, did my laundry, and while doing laundry, and I'm talking to another driver in there. He uh, works for Swift. Cool dude, having good conversation about different things. Then another driver from my company I've never seen before, and hopefully never see again, uh, uh, comes in. And he was the type that he knows all. No one can educate him on anything. He's got seniority, he's been driving for some number of years, blah, 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 blah. He knows best, and he's the king, you know, blah, 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 you know, one of those types. 
more than once I want to just punch him in the face. Now I'm not like a violent person, but it's like a, I really hope I never have to talk to you again after today. <sighs> it's out of my truck and it's just, ah, uh, it's over. I hope. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so sat in there. It was uh, $10 I just spent on laundry. It's $2.50 to wash, $2.50 to dry, times two loads. for One for my bedding, one for everything else. So, that's cool. That's what I got quarters for. But, yeah, talking with that guy, it was, oh, he'd be a pain in the butt to deal with. There's a reason he talked about it, like his three ex-wives that he has. The fact he found women willing to at least temporarily stay with him almost gives me some gives me a little bit of hope. But oh gosh, yeah, I totally get why he is unmarried and divorced three times. I it, I got it right away. And when he told me that, I was at a point where it's kind of like, well, duh. Anyway, enough talking about other people and weird experiences. Uh, still a gloomy, overcast day. Nice and cool outside. It's like, my guess, 35, 40 degrees. My truck idling says 41. Usually that's a few degrees warmer than what it usually is. Um, but can't complain. It's almost uh, two o'clock. So gonna fold my laundry, make my bed, and figure out something for lunch and do a little settling, reorganizing. I still gotta take my trash and recycles out. But uh, we'll get that all squared away eventually. I also get a vlog squared away. I put together a video yesterday that went live this morning. That was my first day, I think, on this Walmart dedicated. And they said I've been driving for five days. There's no way I'm five videos behind. I really screwed up somewhere, I think. Or they screwed up on their county. Maybe I said I've done five loads? I don't know. But whatever. So, cool guys. Yeah, I'll update y'all later. Alright, taking a break from doing laundry. I just got my stuff folded on. I didn't even make my bed. But I'm walking the other direction. When I went on my last walk, I went up and over the freeway that way. And there's a truck stop to the right. And went that way. So this time, I'm gonna go walk this way, see how far I you know, feel like going, and then I'll turn around and go back. My dad is absolutely crushing our steps today. No idea how. Um, I have my suspicions. My guess is that he rode his bike to work and then worked out and he'll ride his bike home. And while well, riding the bike, he's gonna be making motions like he's getting steps, even though he's not. But although at the same time, he's getting exercise, just a different form of exercise than we are all getting. But that, that's my guess. Um, no idea what he's doing, so. Anyway, in an effort to be fair to uh, that other guy who I blasted in that last clip, um, give a couple examples of uh, him was uh, we were talking about logging things. We're supposed to, you know, we have four different duty statuses to have at any different time. Um, it's on duty, not driving, so that's for work related activities, not related to driving, like doing a pre trip of the truck, getting fuel, dropping and hooking trailers, uh, stuff like that. We have off duty, which is what I'm uh, the status I'm at now because I'm off duty away from the truck with nothing to do with the truck. And there's sleeper berth, which is supposed to be for off duty activities in the truck. I never use sleeper berth unless I have to for a uh, split break. Because the reality is, if I put myself in sleeper berth and I'm out right now of the truck how I am, if something happens with the truck and I'm in sleeper berth and I'm supposedly in the truck, I'm in trouble. The other way around, it's a, well, you're off duty just sleeping, who really cares? So, I only go sleep at birth when I have to do an 8-2 split, like what I did a few days ago, or a week ago now, I guess, to uh, deliver that load to the Bay Area. That's the only time I go sleep at birth. This guy's saying if you don't go sleep at birth for at least like an hour of those 10 hours, you get a call from the bosses telling you you're doing it wrong. I have never received that phone call. I told him that and he called me a liar. Um, that was one thing. Like, okay, cool. You're gonna call me. A like, I'm not lying to you. That made me think he might be lying. Um, I really hate being called a liar because I really take pride in having some integrity uh, in life. I realize that's something that not many 27-year-olds uh, have and value, but that's what sets me apart from the rest of them. I'm not the type to blend in, blend in with a crowd, you know, and be like everyone else. That's not my thing. Um, 
Dude, there was another thing too where he said the big bosses would get involved. Oh yeah, getting fuel while uh, off duty. Is uh, all fuel off duty, I'm not supposed to, but when I'm on duty, I'm losing time during my day, which results in a smaller paycheck. And so I will mark my fuel when I do pre-trip. So when, you know, DOT wants to look, he's gonna see that fuel in pre-trip. He was also telling me I have to put everything together with a pre-trip and fuel in terms of time. The reality is I've done fuel and pre-trip several times. I'll do it I'll do it in 10 minutes, maybe a little bit long, like 11 or 12, and I've never had a problem. He's telling me I have to show at least 20 without having a problem. And I told him, like, that's not how I've done it, and I know other people that do, do it the way that I was doing, and none of us have ever had issues. And again, he called me a liar, so. Yeah, those are two examples of dealing with this guy. He was just being, yeah, it, it was almost a joke that, uh, you know, t t interacting with the guy. So, yeah, I owe him that to give examples to back up what I was talking about that last clip. So, anyway, it's really cold out here, guys. It's like 35 degrees with a little bit of a breeze. My hand is frozen. I'm going to end this. And we will, uh, I'll chat with you guys later when I'm done with my walk. Just kidding, there's one more thing. Uh, we were talking about reimbursements, because uh, he works for the same company that I do, and how I've had issues just getting reimbursed for some things, but not others. He's telling me I'm doing it wrong. So I tell him, if I'm doing it wrong, why is I get reimbursed for certain things all the time, without any issue, generally the cheaper things? And why do I the more expensive things? I do the exact same thing, and I have a hard time getting that reimbursement. And he's like, well, you're doing it wrong. It's like, if I was doing it wrong, I would be getting, I would not be reimbursed at all, right? And he, he agreed with me, I'm like, that I'm obviously doing it right to be getting reimbursed in terms of just by the numbers, the number of items, maybe 75% of the time without any issue. So that was just another uh, situation he and I disagreed on. There's just, it's just weird. So, anyway, I'm done for real this time, guys. My hand is freezing, freezing. Hello, my loyal followers who are still watching me at this point. Um, haven't really done much. I set my recycles. I forget if I told you guys or not. I'm gonna save those for uh, whenever I find someone going through a trash can, which Oregon now uh, has does that. They recycle plastics, so I'll probably see them in a truck stop sometime soon. I still need to make my bed really quick, but before I make my bed, or I might make my bed. I may have to go for another walk. This Fitbit thing's fun. I just texted Troy asking if he could just let me win, like one day. Like he kicks butt. Make, both my dad and I had the goal today of beating Troy. And right now my dad is at 20,445 steps. He's done for the day. He's already in bed just knowing him. I also found out why he got so many steps. He's off today. So he took our dog, Vonnie, on a walk around the neighborhood a couple times. Um, I'm in second place at 17,137 steps. Troy is in third at 16,300. So he's, so I have an 800 step uh, lead on him and all I care is about beating him. And then Angie is in fourth followed by Jade and then John is in last and he finished second last week. So I expect a much stronger uh, week out of John um, you know, by the end. Although to be fair because I asked him if he was alive when he only had 100 steps at lunchtime. He uh, left his Fitbit on the charger, so, oh well. But keeping an eye on this because I do not want to lose to Troy. And I mean, the day's over in 20 minutes, but I really want to go to sleep. But I don't want to lose to Troy. I'm in between a rock and a hard place, so. And he's, yeah, he might be done. He's not get, making much progress, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see, so. Anyway, um, something else about that other, that other driver I told you guys about in that last clip, or last two or three clips, whatever, or two or three clips ago. Uh, another thing he said that was just like, that upset me at the time, I didn't think about it talking to you guys, where on average I'm getting more miles per week than he is, and he's telling me how to manage my hours of service so I can get more miles, when it, he's saying it's what he does. But then he, it, when he, based on the mileage that he says he gets per week, I'm getting more miles per week than him. 
I, I don't get people like that. It's one of those things like if you know if I'm playing someone in basketball and I'm beating them and they're gonna then decide to coach me on what I should do, you can go get lost. I, I'd probably tell you that. I tell that to someone. It, it hasn't happened, but I would tell them you need to knock it out. I'll tell them when you are better at me than this, then you can tell me what to do. But that's just me. And he, it was he was just weird about a bunch of things. It's kind of, yeah. I kept reminding him, I'm like, I still got a lot to learn, but I've been doing this for almost two and a half years. I have an overweight ticket on my record. Is it? I, I think I know what I'm doing. You don't get this far into trucking for this long and have that clean of a record on accident. It's not an accident that that happened. And, oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think I know what, naming this video is gonna be a lot easier. Um, I was thinking about a, a video for this, a title for this video actually. And I was thinking about Vince Scully. Uh, there was a, used to be a player on the Dodgers, and I'm not a Dodger fan, but I have a lot of friends who are, that's how I know this. Uh, Milton Bradley, and he would lose his temper. And th there's this, a play that was uh, rather historic when uh, Milton, Br Milton Bradley lost his temper. And Vince Scully, the voice of, of the Dodgers at that time, was just like, and Bradley has totally lost it. That's a horrible Vince Scully impressionation, but that's okay. Um, but no, I can tell this is going to be, and Evan has totally lost it. Oh man, if I had a punching bag available, I'd probably go and punch. Like, I don't really get angry that quickly. I can tolerate some stuff. Just something about that guy. He he hit the right nerve with me, and he hit it good. Um... It would, yeah, he, he's like DOT. It'd be a pleasure not to talk to him ever again. Although with DOT, it's by one scale at a time. But, um... Anyway, we'll, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to pretend that this is the end of the day. Uh, I'll probably update you guys on the Fitbit thing tomorrow anyway. Uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.